found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. That's just humor. Yet he likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the peak and we are good. And look at that gorgeous view. You know it will be worth it. Everyone's going to be beyond just... Oh, you're so right. The colors alone and the lighting. Oh, could you ask for better lighting in a million years? It's like... Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. And for more than two decades, Mr. Yates, it's Aaron, sir, fr from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the files. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to. Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Reputation for ruthlessness and dirty tactics. No doubt the rhythm is more 
Oh my lord, is that a Gira Cuckoo? I, I've always wanted to see one in the wild. Oh, Gretchen will be so jealous. Every time one of those British guards walks past me, my shoulders get all tense. Oh, getting pretty proud. Yes, and you want to let you go through. Why are you all up in my face, mister? Please, behave. You know, I was really looking forward to seeing you at the club. Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Yeah, keep it real. Thank God it's finally in. That extra security detail was driving my plane. It's the I'm here for the tourists. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist when all the deal is. Yates is business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sick. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Menno. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm... Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests inexplicably yeah. dropping dead. Yeah, next to... Fade a cup. Plus spots cut. On the tour or after? Something Dutch sounding? I bet she's So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly? It's a nice gesture, right? But the characteristic you said it's not even better than you But if I'm gonna be one of these heralds, of course, you need to start letting me in on a few things. The wine list? Okay. I'm more of a big So who's this fool? But if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play the modern boss, I <laughs> no, no I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post truth. Yeah, I like it. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say. 
Gates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burn? How do you mean? Okay, back to business as usual. Tell me you did it, Mom. Yes. Tell me you did it, Mom. Already? Okay. Huh? I didn't forget the Asado torch. Uh -huh. Uh, no. No mistake. He shouldn't be on the guest list. No, I'm quite sure. In fact, what are we supposed to do? CEO of Crump Jab. I dare say congratulations are in order. Excuse me? Uh huh. Hello there. And welcome to the Yates Winery. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate. Rank one of our
over here. Hey. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's the ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah, hey. What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided to get off his wife for me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes, Tay in the morning. Yates doesn't like how I prioritize. He can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, come on. I left it right here. Especially not for them. I haven't really thought about that. 
Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. Lovely inky black color. Good sign now. Imagínate una barrera invisible entre tú y yo que se extiende de tus manos, de tus brazos hacia mí. Tratemos eso y estemos fuera de esa zona. Es mi espacio personal. ¿Entiendes? Now, let's see. Inky black color. Good size, large and firm. See, it's brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. You think they're making fun of Sweet, flavorful, robust. Floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. Hello! Welcome to Viñeda no. Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, how do you like nice Argentina? Ass. Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Well, Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer, secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on... I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Can you tell me about this grape crusher? 
Well, as the name implies, it crushes the distinct grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipe. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? It had to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions... Ah, yes. I just love to clean up. Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh, well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates with Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. No and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? Sir, you're... It's all very inspiring. I could see you retired to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates' fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just a Honest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. 
likely a gathering of heralds, come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Ugh, men like Don. Gates know the price of everything, the value of nothing. I am sorry, Patron. Say, what if we exchange the label?
Sir, I present to you the 1940. I present to you the 1940. Ah! Hey, buddy, tell me, what's your involvement? Don't try anything stupid, sir. Shit! Unconscious though. Get medical on standby. I'm moving in to investigate. Oh crap! Christ sakes! Hey, what are you thinking? Go back now. If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. Hey, stop twitching. You're not making my life easy here. Okay, everything seems to be in order here. Hey, you'll get to stepping, Holmes. I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The... Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. 
Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactor. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And partner Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what the hell? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. Yes, yes. I agree. Yes. I'm in. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move in. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. Hey, this Goldbeck, this excuse me. Seems what like you you're not all. clear to Come to it. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you, we are in here together. One day. No, por favor! Hello, sir. Took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
it. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. <sighs> Turns out this woman will be <sighs> If it's an yeah. isolation, Don, what you're you doing, you asshole? Do you stand there? Be constant. Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick brick. Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
towards them. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. But it had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>